Hello everyone, it's Jeffrey on March 20th, 2017. I have just a quick video here to show you how to get the high view image viewer. That's the JPEG 2000 image format viewer, which should only be gotten from here and nowhere else on the internet. And if you click on this high view it brings you to this page and all you have to do is hit the download button and here's your list of OS's over here Just pick whatever one after you download it you're going to get the and, and then you open the viewer it looks like this that for a second to get a whoops turn that off okay <clears throat> excuse me there's a viewer now this is the JP2 viewer and basically what it is is when you download the JP2 file which I'll show you here Oops, oh, and by the way, this is the catalog with, uh, or up here, just click catalog, you get this. There's uh, 2,000 pages, 48,000 images, so you'll be busy for a while if you're just kind of browsing. But take this one, they give you an initial picture, which really isn't the picture that you see. Uh, this, I put, if you want to just get it look at it quickly which is probably a good idea is you click this one and you'll get this page you can right click on it we're going to zoom in on this crater here and you right click and you can save image as uh, but this is what you'll get from the uh, NASA JPL University of Arizona 500 meters up here on the right that's the scale so this thing's about you know a couple hundred meters across now if you're whoops if you're in the catalog click on your photo down here is where the jp2s are and these file sizes are pretty big I always take the first one and if you just click on it, it downloads it and it puts it on my browser down here. And then you just simply click the file, drag it over to the window, and drop it into the High View Viewer program. Now that we have the best image here, you can zoom in on it and they give you some bars on the right over here which are kind of hard to work but let's zoom in and I'll show you the difference between these two pictures is stunning now to, to go up and down there are some of these oh here it is this one has this bar now you can work the controls zoom in a little more And there's another one over here. If you can get your cursor on that blue box, you can move it that way, too. Okay, so already it looks completely different. We'll go back to the other so you can, count, can check this out. That's what you get with the JPEG. This is without. And we're still zooming. Okay. Oops, oh, I feel like getting sensitive now. Same image, only zoomed in. I can zoom this in, but that's all I'm going to see. Look how bad it gets. This is, this is what it really looks like. And it looks like there's a square white thing in there. Isn't that interesting? But I don't see any shadow of it. I don't know. 
You know, I mean, I would surprise. I'm surprised to see that on such a high resolution image. That's why I don't think it's an anomaly, but whatever. Um, let's zoom back out. Well, let's go in, actually. I'm going in pretty far here. Uh, let's come out just a little. There you go. Compared to this. Now there is, I think this is a white crater right here. A tiny little crater. And, look, and that's what all this white is. I think it just kicked up new dust or something. Okay. But it doesn't show anything in here. I mean, that's what I'm thinking from that picture. But when I look at this picture, I can hardly see that crater at all. But I think it is there. But this is completely different here. And all these little, you know, you can see the... the um, They like to call them polygons. Even that resolution is, is pretty good compared to this. You can't even see the polygons. So anyway, that's pretty cool. And they have other choices here. You can pick some of these uh, other colored maps. Um, why don't we try... Well, first I have to download the file. I'm not even going to bother. Uh, we have the JP Extras. Let's try that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. Hopefully it downloads. I've been having technical difficulties. Okay, there it goes. 100 megabytes in about 4 or 5 seconds. It's not bad. So now I should be able to drag that new file. I need it so I can drag it. You always got to have the two windows. I'm going to click, oops, click down here. So you can drag the file on and should open it pretty quick. Hmm. Looks like the same thing to me. Oh, wait a minute. And now see, that looks even better. Other thing is still in there. This shows the crater better, or whatever it is. almost see the radiating white here so something happened here for sure I don't know what's going on here maybe I maybe it's a spaceship crashed in there for all I know anyway let's zoom in some more I mean now if that isn't good resolution I don't know what it is you know you can't say NASA doesn't give you high resolution pictures because they do they just don't give you the ones that but I they can't catch everything uh, compared to this pile of garbage and I just did a video I think maybe even on that crater and I was using this format when I should have been using the real McCoy so and in fact it was my last video too so you can look at that video and then see the difference it's just absolutely amazing zoom out That's just that crater. I haven't really looked around much. You know. You can zoom in on that up there maybe. Boy, I tell you, high resolution, it just really gets sensitive. There was something there. I'd see it as far as uh, anomalies go. So you just gotta love this stuff. I'll bring you back to the original page here. 
can get the address there. All right. Well, I hope that helps people on their quest for higher resolution. And I'm not sure how many other... Uh, I've seen this JP2 format before in other places, so it, you know, this will come in handy. So but just remember, though, if you try to drag the link on, it doesn't work. You have to actually drag the file and drop it on the page of your high view viewer. All right, man. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun.